Before you do this for yourself, I'm going to show you how you can connect an LED to the Arduino and how you can connect a button to the Arduino and read its value and use that value to control the LED. So you might notice that we don't have a battery here. Instead, I'm using the Arduino itself to power the LED, or well, we will in a second. You should look on your own Arduino, but you can see a 5 volt, 5 V pin, and a GND, or ground pin, and you see that I have those connected to the two rails of the breadboard. Let's make the same circuit that we did yesterday with a battery, only now we'll use the Arduino instead of a battery. Here's my LED. Remember that it matters how you hook this up. So the longer lead needs to be attached to the positive voltage and the shorter lead needs to be attached to ground. So I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to put it in here and then I'm going to attach this. Oops, I forgot which was which. I'm going to attach this shorter lead to the ground rail and I'm going to attach the longer lead to the voltage rail. I'm going to use a resistor to connect the shorter lead to ground and I'm going to use this blue wire to connect this lead to voltage. And as you can see the LED has lit up. Okay, right now we're just using the Arduino like a battery. This won't let me turn the light on and off with programming. So let's immediately change this so that we can use these pins over here, which you can set as an output pin, and make this LED do the same blinking behavior that your LED on pin 13 was doing before when you did the blink test. What I'm going to do is instead of connecting this lead to a positive voltage source, I'm going to connect this lead instead to the pin over here that I want to control it. And in the programming, when I set this pin to high, that will provide 5 volts. And when I set this pin to low, it will provide 0 volts. So when it's set to high, it will turn the LED on. And when it's set to 0, the LED will go off. So I'm going to scoot it over a little bit. And now I'm going to use this longer wire to connect it all the way over here to pin number 7. Let's go ahead and load a program. This is my blink test program from before. Uh, this LED variable was set to 13 for pin 13. Let's change it now to 7. That's the only change I need to make. Now when I upload the sketch, you can see that the LED here is being controlled by the same program that was controlling this LED, only now we're setting pin 7 to be high and low, which is now uh, turning the voltage on and off for that LED.